grown to like the dark, but I didn't like it to start with. And I don't like total dark. I like there to be stars in the sky, do you know what I mean? It's a big theme of Isaiah, so Isaiah 9 famously speaks about the people who walk in darkness having seen a great light, are not living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned, for to us a child is born. That's why, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counsel, and Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, more than a baby. He's more than a baby. The government will be on his shoulder, and that's where light dawns for you. That's where light comes into your darkness, when he comes to reign and rule, <coughs> and put things in their place. Now, okay, what's darkness then? Darkness. What's darkness? Well, we all know what darkness is, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you try and define it. Of course, it's a natural situation, isn't it? You've got the space, and out there in chaos, it's pretty dark. Darkness is the absence of light. It's not so much a thing, it seems to me, but the absence of something it would be good to have there, you know? Something missing. There's not much life without light. There's no security, because you can't see so well, can you? Yeah, imagine being a blind man trying to cross the region street. You've never seen that sort of thing. You can't see it. It's a risky situation to be in, isn't it? Not to be able to see. To have no light. Life becomes a bit of a lottery, and you spend quite a lot of time waiting for the bus to arrive, you know what I mean? You might be at the bus stop, but you might be in the middle of the street. Again, it's a fundamental human fear from, from childhood. I had a kiddie light when I was a kid. Did you have one of those plastic lights? I had a noddy one. <laughs> it was noddy in his car, and up inside was a sort of a 15 watt bulb or something. Just couldn't get to sleep with, with, with a bit of light on. Very early age, kiddie light, calling out in the dark. You're afraid of what might be there. And without Christ, human life, art, literature, philosophy is like a child calling out in the dark for somebody to be there. Or not. It's a situation of sensing your own vulnerability because the dark conceals threats and the dark conceals dangers. It conceals many a thing that's not actually there, but we're afraid of anyway, because we can't see that it's not. You can't see, you do tend to be vulnerable. And it leaves you in a state of um, confusion. Because you can't see the way. You don't know what's there. Don't see the reality, so you don't understand it. Leaves you floating in a sea of confusion. And disorientation. Now, of course, that anybody else would know. <clears throat> we become socially very capable of pretending that we've got this together. We've got it together. We're cool. There we stand, pretending in the dark, and here comes Jesus, the light of the world, banishing the darkness. And the first thing that shows up is we're pretty, pretty weak and vulnerable. So, Emmanuel, God with us. addresses those issues.